You guys are all doing well. I got some new cards here. Um, I got uh, the Divine Film cards. Um, it says the Divine Film. And they're by Oracles. They're by uh, Elizabeth Cheever. Um, Megan Watterson. I guess. Um, is the founder or who made and then I have the dragon oracle by Diane Cooper um, what's good with you guys on this evening or afternoon yeah evening I pray that everyone is doing well and no harm or danger come that's the thing about you know these cards and these card readers or whatever I've seen all walks of life or whatever where uh, uh, people are going to backstab you and betray you wherever you go people are gonna, going to snitch on you going to say stuff about you going to do whatever but me when I came in this room you know people were thinking I didn't know what they were doing and uh, I started exposing them and they were getting mad or whatever and trying to, you know, speak on stuff like, you know, someone's like, you know, trying to give up their game that they're using up in here. Like, it's going to be game everywhere. We let game, we game have took us to the place that we didn't want to go with these divine masculines so you know it's all gonna be a niche and a catch with all of it um everywhere you go a niche a snitch i me personally i don't give a damn i'll just tell you straight to your face or whatever we you know we're not gonna be playing these kid games and whatever i say you're gonna know i know what you're doing and what you, you you speaking on me and I'm going to come right to you and tell you what you're doing. Then, you know, I probably expose you even on my thing, you know. But you'll know that I'm talking to you since, you know, because everyone's intuition been, been ringing, been blooming. Okay, so um, what's going on with this connection with the Divine Masculine? And the divine fam. Uh, before I started reading these cards, what I heard was the divine masculine wants to bone you. I don't know about that. I don't know. But whoever this person is that you're connected to, they want to bone you. And uh, okay, this came out here. Um, this card in reverse, Six of Swords. Uh, Moving away from toxic things that no longer serve you. Maybe in the past you put up with things that you normally wasn't supposed to. You allow people to walk all on you. You allow people and you still treated them nice. You still tried to show integrity. Still tried, tried to show love. You still tried to do the right thing or whatever. And you know, you wasn't getting anywhere. So you had to move away from it now. The way you see in this situation and these people, you know your word. You know that you don't have to put up with anything that you don't want to. And you're just just getting rid of it. You just, that, uh, um, this six of swords is in the reverse. Like, I'm just going to cut it out. I, You know, I'm going to quit running from, uh, you know, everything that people is saying. I'm going to quit running from uh, people that's, you know, trying to make me feel less than my worth. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to quit running from these people and I'm just going to stand up and uh, speak my truth, stand in my power and do what it do. And okay, here is a death card. Could be a Scorpio. This could be to do with a Scorpio or whatever. This person may have, you know, um, triggered you or may have knew the things that you were saying about them were correct about you know something about some sex or lusting or they could have been doing that with the karmics or whatever whatever and you peeked it out you stayed there for a minute peeking it out or whatever feeding these people love even the karmics some of some of these divine films was even feeding karmics 
trying to feed them divine love and knowing that this person do not like you knowing that this person uh is like wanting what you want knowing that this person is scoping you out trying to figure out your ideas copying cheating being manipulative just as well as the divine masculine was so what's going on with these divine masculines here okay queen of pentacles uh someone is focusing on their pentacles or this situation could have been to do with pentacles you know they just want it to be in a and you just you you're not walking away from it anymore you standing up to the truth you know you you're not going to give your pentacles away to no one or this person only wanted to be with you for your pentacles but the will of fortune came in to shift do a shifting and you know uh make someone see the truth for what it was and it changed the dynamic of the whole uh uh uh, situation that was going on or whatever six of cups someone could be reminiscing over you or a childhood partner could want to come in and uh, want to reconcile with you or you know they feel very youthful or this could even be you you're um, feeling youthful right now or the person that you're dealing with could be reminiscing on what you guys had in the past and they're feeling youthful and they're feeling that you brought youth to them. You gave them uh, a sense of a new beginning and it felt so nurturing here. Um, you could have uh, like poured into this person, still giving them love. You were helping them financially. You were also helping them materialistically. You were... Um, like taking up for this person you were their protection i'm saying in a sense here um you know you felt like this could be a past life partner here um could be a water sign um high priestesses uh what i'm getting here uh let's see let's see um high priestesses here um Secrets were hidden from you, feeling, uh, you know, hidden feelings like you may have kept this a secret or this person kept this a secret, how they felt about you. Um, the healer of fem feminine uh, power, um, you're a healer or whatever, you know, uh, this person could want to heal this situation with you. It could be you or their partner. The unconscious hidden motivation, mysterious influences, um, developing talents. You know, it could be hidden talents that are being birthed now. A secret needs to be revealed or someone has still has something that needs to be revealed. Trust in your tooth. Whatever you've been thinking that this person has been hiding from you, God have already showed you what it was. It's the truth. Um, could be uh, what I'm hearing is, I don't know. You know, in the past, in the wintertime, we kept hearing about STDs or things like that. This person could not, you know, could have been running from you or whatever because they didn't want to come in uh, because, you know, they felt that or, you know, maybe they just shut you out or maybe you just, right now, you just leaving the situation alone. This Knight of Cups could want to come in and relay a message to you um knight of cups uh uh very uh, have emotions but they're in and out um may have some emotions but they're not it's not a full cup of emotions um uh, Night, uh, you know, uh, it's not a full cup of emotions here. Um, they could want to offer you something minor. Um, like, you know, or maybe send you a text message or uh, via message or they could want to call you and 
you know, ask how you've been doing, something of that nature. Eight of Pentacles, they know that you, um, they know that you, uh, you're working on your Pentacles or whatever, the Divine Masculine, and they could be working on theirs as well. Um, Ten of Pentacles, it's a rat in, you know, being deceptive and cheating someone out of their money could have been in the past. Ten of Pentacles uh, and getting money from everywhere and moving like a rat, maybe, and then being moving slow about it because even Pentacles outside of the abundance that this pe person uh, came with alone or whatever, like, this masculine was also, or this could have been a feminine, uh, just using this person for pinnacles. They look at you and see money or abundance with you, and you gave a lot of pinnacles uh, a way to, it could have been multiple people here, or somebody was taking money from multiple women maybe it was a player or a pimp or something like that uh but ten of cups uh they see you as wish fulfillment uh that they could have their abundance that they'll be fulfilled uh in their home life work life their stability their uh financial endeavors uh their spirituality their you know you give them a sense of peace they could be they could be playful and they could be themselves and you'll just fill up the whole nine yards or whatever. They know that you're they know that you're a manifester or whatever a uh, magician card here. Um that you hold you can work magic, baby. You work magic. Okay, um let's see what else we got here. Uh Let's do some clarifying on this whole situation. What I'm going to do here is we're going to do a clarify, clarify this situation on them knowing that they could have the Ten of Pentacles with you and all of that. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you could come in and give us a clear uh, message, clarify the whole ordeal to do with this situation. We want a clear message on some cards here that will clarify this whole outstanding situation here. What will, let's clarify this message here. Uh, Ace of Swords, what I do know is someone, they know that someone is not playing. The outcome is gonna be that, don't come over here playing. I know who I am. I know what I can uh, manifest. I know that who I am as a person. I know what I bring to the table. Don't come playing or you get cut out. King of Wands, passionately looking at you, um, seeing you, uh, uh, passionately seeing, uh, you know, is a person, could be a fire sign. This is an air sign and a fire sign. Maybe you cut out a fire sign, a King of Wands, but this person was passionately and, you know, they knew how to manifest. They may have been an entrepreneur or they knew how to manifest their own. They came with a lot of passion uh, to do with everything that surrounds them. Uh, their job, their career, their home life. Um, six of Wands uh, it could be a leadership or uh, a spokesman or in a high rank or whatever, but it's sneakiness behavior, sneaky behavior is going on around them. You see those dark energies that's down below them or whatever. Uh, this person um, uh, could be a person that give knowledge, could be a speaker for a living six of ones, could be a person of high ownership, an honorable person that people worship, but he got a bunch of uh, what I'm getting right here is the people who he hang around with is all deceptive. You see all those black, dark spirits down there? They're all being sneaky, liars, cheaters. Some of them probably don't even really like whoever this is that you're in this connection with. 
They want to have a new beginning uh, with you, uh, whatever. Yeah. Clarifying, uh, you are a manifester. They see you as a ten of cups. They see you as nurturing, giving. Uh, could be a past life here. Uh, the will of fortune could be, you know, the will of fortune came and uh, changed the dynamic of this situation because people was playing too many games here. Um, uh, clarifying, yeah, a new beginning. They want a new beginning with you. Um, this is in, they don't, they want to come up out of the cold five of cups. Clarifying all of this that they did in the past. They, you know, been crying over spill milk. Think that they missed this opportunity with you. It's in reverse. Like, you completely didn't. They, they believe that you're not going to allow them in your your energy or to even come and connect with you period because they know that uh five of swords that you fought long and hard and you fought with people that were surrounding them they could have even been sicking people on you or even going and getting other women to fight with you and you fought a long hard battle and you're standing in your power and you're like uh yeah i fought them and Look where they ended up at, and you know if y'all want some more, I'll I'll do the same again. It doesn't matter, you know y'all can keep coming for me, but I'm gonna stand my grounds and I'm gonna fight back. Page of Swords. This person could be younger than you. Uh, could have been a bit immature. Could have been cutting. Could have been uh, speaking to you harshly. Could have been. Um, talking down to you, could have been trying to belittle you, or whatever and uh, the way they're standing like they were better than you um, is what they felt and they had people that was around them that was better than you too that they could choose from is what they were saying that's the uh, clarifying on this situation uh, King of Pentacles uh, now they want to come in and be a king and uh, uh they want to stand in their power because they know in the past they wasn't. They could have took some of your ideas. They could have manifested uh, some of their wealth or abundance off of you. We seen right there where uh, you know the money, um, you, uh, Queen of Pentacles, that you was a manifester, that you had Pentacles. You gave them some type of spiritual abundance. They could have been using some of your work or whatever and manifesting it to get pinnacles off of you. Um, here, let's see what else. That that was clarifying that this Ace of Pinnacles, you're not going to be given this situation anymore. You won't be given any more of your abundance to no one. So they can get ready for that. And you're passionately standing in your power, Queen of uh, Wands and uh, Ace of Wands. You're passionately doing so, and God, the heavens, is going to reward you to be everything that you're trying to pursue. You will be successful, but you're passionately standing in your power, and you're not allowing people to come in and take from you. So a king of cups could be coming for you or want to come for you because you, uh, this eight of cups, you turned your back and walked away from this situation because it was bringing too much drama uh, this person had a lot of cups offered to them and some of them spilled out he was steady trying all these cups and filling them up uh, with uh, it was lust is what I'm getting here eight of uh, cups filling these cups up with lust some of them fell over because uh, it's a lot of uh, people that's heartbroken women could have been or men whichever uh, it go vice versa uh, these cups that spilled over is spilled cups of love or whatever heart broke uh, heart breaks right here some of them still standing strong even after they had sex with this divine masculine here they're still standing behind him waiting to see if he's going to come try them again or uh, whatever with this eight of cups uh, what's uh, okay um this is gold and silver violet flame dragon. Transmute the all around you with wisdom and grace. It's time for, for transmutation. 
Magic and Healing Offer Service Under Grace. Um, gold and Silver Transmute. So what this is telling us to, uh, like it's two cards here to do with Transmution that fell out. Lil, uh, Lilac, Lilac Fire Dragon. Transmute through the power of the divine love. Open up to the transcendence, love, and enlight enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. So that's what you guys are standing in right now. You know, you could be uh, standing in your purity or whatever. You're opening up your heart more to receive from the divine. Um, because the divine is going to bless you with, you know, wishful blessings here. Is what I'm getting here. Let's see what Devon films uh, before I could even. Sarah La, La Kayla, Queen of the Outsider. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Y'all see this pretty queen? So a lot of people, look, she's been enlightened and awakened in her heart, this anchor of you know that's in the middle of her chest here uh somewhat I'm, what i'm getting here is someone could have very beautiful eyes uh a mistress aradine aradine Mitch, mistress of the labyrinth my soul knows the way and the only way out is through the only way out is through uh Moving through all of this, you've been enlightened to move through whatever you have gone through. Um, I wish the best for you guys. Peace, love, and light in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless. Y'all have a great day.